When I was 19, I broke my leg. And the people at physiotherapy told me that if I walked barefoot, I wouldn't limp. Well, being 19, you think, well, that's rubbish. So I got on with my life. Anyway, about five years ago, I suddenly realised that, that I was starting to walk like Inspector Morse. So I took my shoes off. I cured my limp and I haven't put my shoes back on. It's actually quite easy and not as frightening as you think. It's much easier here in, 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 in nature than it is on, on man-made surfaces because here I mean, I've got these downy needles and it's phenomenally soft and the earth is surprisingly warm a lot of the time. I mean obviously in winter it's different. You, you just have to get over the belief that things will hurt you as soon as you realise that not everything does hurt you. And if it does hurt, it's not actually sort of injury threatening. You have, to, you have to learn to differentiate between what's going to injure you and what's just uncomfortable. And it's actually very easy to do. It probably took me only about three weeks. But after five years, I mean, my soles are like leather. In fact, they're not like leather. They've actually turned to leather. I mean, broken glass hurts, but I, I try not to step on broken glass. And here, I, I step on thorns, but you're bound to. But I've got a pair of tweezers, and you have to adapt your style of walking slightly. With shoes, you tend to you tend to walk heel first and the heel isn't designed for that. I'm not saying you walk everywhere on tiptoes but it is possible to shift the emphasis of the weight to the ball of your foot and here under your toes. But if you look about three paces in front of you you can see what's coming and avoid it and you, your feet actually react and you find that you step on something uncomfortable and they, they shift the, the balance themselves. They're very clever. I'd recommend it to anyone.